Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel and welcome to your November 2023, the next seven days tarot reading. We're going to look at your general and love energy, the current person on your mind, any new love potential coming your way. And I'll look at Aries through Pisces. Um, for some of you that have a certain zodiac on your mind, we'll see the potential. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. You know it helps my channel grow. And if you'd like a personal reading, that information is down below. If you'd like to just hang out with me and a bunch of people over on my membership. We do go weekly with general personal energy checks and we talk about all different topics and it's more personal over there. That information is down below as well too. So let's get into this. I did start your reading before this and then I had to pause and it paused at 333. So threes may be a very important number to pay attention to this week. You may see synchronicities of three. Um, look it up. It always gives you a different message. Um, different places you see give you different types of messages. It's all different. So you never know what you're going to get today. I do see a Leo energy and I see the number six for you as well. So now we're seeing three, 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 and we're seeing six. So three, six, nine, the Tesla, you know, numbers. So we're seeing a claim, fame, recognition, all right. So being recognized this week, it kind of gives a six of wands energy, getting the attention from somebody this week or getting the attention from many this week, uh, really being in the spotlight. Uh, if you're connected to a Leo, you could have Leo in your chart as well, too. But I see you getting appreciation this week for something that you're doing, uh, feeling appreciated. Uh, some of you might be going going out, going to a movie, um, you know, going somewhere, going on a date with somebody that you get attention with. You could be making something known in the public eye, a relationship. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe it's just a week you're going to go out to a show. That's what that card says. Going out to a show, going out and spending some time. I see shooting star energy, right? I know these cards are a little bit smaller, but I'm just pulling out two just to get the energy. So we see an Aries and we see a Leo energy. So we've got some real feisty, fiery energy for you this week. Could be around you. That's a lot of passion, a lot of excitement, a lot of quick action, some wish being granted. Um, this is a moment in time where you're going to feel very lucky, especially with six of ones and eight of ones. That's kind of the energy that comes through these cards. Um, you know, so very, very passionate energy. So something could be moving pretty fast this week. There could be a lot of communication with that card. It may seem like a lot of people communicating with you. When I think in energies and fire, I feel like you feel it in all. If you're feeling it within, you're feeling it everywhere. So you may be getting a lot of attention. You may be talking. You may be talking more. You may be feeling more excited. Your energy may be more uplifted. You may be doing more things. You may be getting more done. You may get to a midday and realize all your work's done. And you're like, man, I must really been in the zone and going right so we see a lot of passion a lot of fire make use of this energy um, especially if you've been feeling kind of like you know not in go mode this seems to be a week of go mode and really feeling um, passionate and excited so let's see how the week unfolds for you how does the week unfold for my Tauruses there could be travel this card does talk about um, passing through. Like, so some of you, there could be some people passing through really fast in your life too. Uh, so there could be somebody in your life or people that you meet, you meet a lot of new people. Um, and it just seems like a lot going on, a lot of messages, a lot of communication, a lot of action, a lot of um, just fast paced stuff. You have more Aries energy here. Uh, so we get the tower moment. So we are seeing this week that things are shaking up for you. So this fire energy might be a little uncomfortable for you at first, right? Something shaken up in your life. The tower card brings change. Things change uh, quickly. All right. Something might you whatever you're doing, something. Remember when the tower moment comes up, I do want to say this, though. The tower moment comes up to redirect us. So if you're if you have plans to do this, you might be being redirected to the, to do something else. Um, it can also be an epiphany, a second chance. Uh, it can be moving on. It can be moving. Some of you might be moving pretty quickly this week. Um, you know, something comes up and, and it's like you just have to take action really quick because it could be a potential. Maybe you're moving moving towns, moving houses, moving, you know, uh, just moving along, right? Very fast, fiery energy for you. My hands are getting sweaty as I'm talking. All right, let's see. Um, 
how else the rest of the week is going for you. All right. So we do have the four of cups energy. So I am feeling like some of you have been just kind of stuck in a mundane routine and uh, maybe you're, you've been asking for some change in your life. This card tells me that it's about to happen for you. All right. We have the seven of wands. Some of you might, it might be about perseverance. It might be uh, speaking up. Some of you really need to speak up, stand your ground. Um, this could be, um, it can be defensive energy too. I am getting a quick little message here though that some of you are tired of waiting for something, tired of um, or just really discontent or unhappy about a situation. And this um, seven of wands is saying some of you might be stepping up. There is a little bit of a quick message here that some of you are getting over a situation and you've had enough and you're just like, things have to change around here. Things have to move, things have to go. And you know maybe this is uh, some of you, you know, taking your partner out um, we do have that going out to a show, going out and doing something fun, um, doing something that brings in more passion into your life. So I am getting that quick message. For some of you, you might be just bored or stuck or just feel like you know somebody's not doing what they say or somebody's not moving or you just don't know what else to do. It does feel like you might be standing up this week, speaking up, to speaking your truth to somebody. Remember that eight of wands can be a lot of communication. With the tower card, it can be communication that's very passionate, very exciting, um, and it can also be very aggressive, very like, you know, to the point, and it can be arguing, you know, a lot of tension. So that could be a possibility this week with you and somebody else, but you might be lighting some dynamite up, up somebody's ass and getting them to move finally. All right, we do have the card of awareness for you, an epiphany again, that word keeps coming through. It's like, you know, you see clearly, you know what needs to be done. Um, and so some of you uh, really take an action this week with, this is the magician card, um, really take an action, you know what needs to be done. So if we look at the stand in your ground, it's like some of you, um, you might be in this routine, this rut, you know, um, I, the four cups in this deck, I hate getting this card for myself, right? I'm just like, I feel it to the core unlike every day it's like groundhog day and it's like i can't do this one more day now i'm a little bit more dramatic being a scorpio but i am your opposite sign and we do have a lot in common and, and you know a lot not in common but we do see i when i get this energy i'm like i cannot do this anymore whereas you're more about comforts and you but there gets to a point where even you're like all right i need to get this is just boring right? It's time to move, right? So this seven of wands could be you like, all right, I need things to move because you see you've got the six of wands, the seven of wands, and the eight of wands, all right? So you're recognizing something. You're aware of something. You want fire in your life. You need some fire in your life. And the seven of wands is you getting up on time and saying, all right, I've been doing this, 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 and this, and this. I'm going to do this. Like I even told myself today, um, I'm going out and doing something totally different. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be doing the same things I'm doing, but I'm going to try and go do something different that I haven't done, right? And I, you have this magician card, which is like create magic right now. The magician card says, you know, you have all the tools you need and, and focus. All you have to do is focus on what you want and what you want to change and what you want to create in your life and make it happen. You got to you got to take steps toward towards it though too and if you're making excuses and there's obstacles that obstacle is so small the obstacle is you know you just haven't changed your routine all right i just gave you a whooping <laughs> but you see all that fire i'm throwing some fire at you there you go i'm throwing some fire at you it's you know you need some fire you need to make some change here let's see some current person on your mind let's see the energy around love for you I'll say my fire is coming from a cup of coffee, but let's see. What's the energy around love for you? So this, this, these cards I pull right here will affect both the current person on your mind and the new person potential. Uh, so let's get an energy around this week. What's the potential around this week, right? I can only pull the cards, guys. So it may not resonate with everyone. All right. 
So plenty of fish in the sea for some of you. So if you've got somebody who's not taking you serious, right, you've got this seven of wands, speak up, stand up, move, right? They're not fulfilling you, right? You're getting a little bored and discontent with the same going around in circles with somebody this week, right? So uh, the tower card can be see a piece. This isn't stable, All right? So there's plenty of fish in the sea. I also get there's somebody available for you and somebody very attractive, right? Somebody's got your attention or you've got somebody's attention, All right? So there is, look at plenty of fish in the sea, guys. Move on. Move on. There's somebody here available for you. All right, dreaming of you. All right, so there could be somebody here that's very, very passionate about you. Somebody who actually sees a future with you. Somebody who wants to get to know you. This could be somebody. Also, the dreaming of you card for some of you really, you know, us watery signs, you know. Maybe you're in fantasy land. You've been dreaming about somebody, right? Or you have actually been having dreams about somebody. It could be because this person's having dreams about you. So I know you love when I say that because it does happen, right? So, and some of you could have a lot of watery energy, all right? I do see, though, that somebody's pretty guarded, all right, whether that's you or your person, um, but you can see that somebody's cracking that, that shell open here. There's a little bit of love sprouting out, so you can either water it and see where it goes or, you know, the prickles are going to win, all right? And also that can go with plenty of fish in the sea. If you've been trying to water that little bit of heart there for some time um it may be time to say all right i've given everything i've got i'm done uh, this is just too much for me all right and let's see um so let's see this person that's coming towards you it seems like i got two energies here guys seems like you could be given something a second chance but you might be putting your foot down and saying we need to do something different this week and make something change in our relationship because this just isn't working for me um so there could be an argument there could be some you know guards getting thrown up somebody could be very guarded and maybe you're just getting tired of it and spirit wants you to know you know go see what else is out there for some of you um maybe you are moving on and there is somebody else out here somebody you're thinking about somebody's thinking about you uh you do have an opportunity here to get to know somebody so um let's see some of you are in the dating scene and there is one in that pile you just got to kind of get through uh the red flags right um don't fall for them for every like 10 million there's one <laughs> i'm kidding all right so we got a king of wands showing up for you, Aries, Leo, Sag. So I am getting a lot of fire. You have Aries, Leo, Sag around here um, all over this reading. So, you you know, maybe that's what you need, a little bit of fire, a fire sign in your life. All right. I do see Princess of Pentacles. This is somebody that does want to get to know you, uh, maybe understand you. Maybe they're trying their best they can. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they do care about you. Um, that is your energy there. Um, there may be a misunderstanding. Maybe they are trying to be sincere, but maybe they are just so guarded, uh, you know, and it's just impossible. But the Princess of Pentacles can show uh, sincere messages coming in, uh, honest messages coming in, maybe really trying to understand you this week um, and uh, it can bring good news in so you will be talking to whoever it is you're trying to talk to but I'm getting the devil energy here so it can be toxic and so now that kind of changes it a little bit it kind of goes back to um, this cactus heart I mean you just don't know to always know it seems like they can they can get you hooked again right that that devil energy is a very sexual energy it's a very toxic energy though it's a lot of you know, drama, and it's a lot of shit. People don't want to deal with their shadow sides, right? And when you have the Princess of Pentacles and you have the Devil card, yeah, you may get a message and you may get an apology in, but is it the same shit? It's a different day. The Devil card can be, you know, somebody not being honest about something too. So there could have been some cheating in the past. There could have been, or this person could have been cheated on, and they just don't want to let go of it. Uh, they're not willing to let go of it. There's a lack of trust there um, and a lack of understanding. But it does feel like this person tries, you know, with the Page of Pentacles and the Cactus Heart. But they've got some healing to do. They've got some things to deal with, right? They could have addictions too. So be aware of that when you see the Devil card. 
So clarity, let's talk about maybe uh, maybe there's some honest communication coming in. Maybe there is a breakthrough this week. You will get communication with this person. You will see this person. You will talk to this person, but you will have an epiphany about this person as well. You will see clearly. You will see through the bullshit with this person. All right, whether or not you choose to move on, that's up to you. You do have the tower card here in this deck. Uh, I mean, in this read in here, which says maybe you'll give it a second chance, but maybe this is a wake up call for you. Maybe some of you will decide I'm cutting this out. I can't do this. I, you know, this person, maybe sometimes when you move on from somebody, um, you are actually not enabling them anymore. And maybe they will wake up and they will realize they're going to lose you. All right. It could be something like that. We can't fix people. People are on their own journeys. It could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. All right, but we do see the Ace of Swords and we do see some sort of communication, the possibility of a new beginning here with this person and have an open communication. But it may not be 100% honest. Um, they will do their best they can, put it that way. All right. And so I do see the star in reverse. The star in reverse says disappointment. But the thing is, is that there's still a lot of love for this person and you still desire this person. And until this person can... Um, you know, go through whatever they need to go through or deal with their addictions or deal with their, their shadows, you may continue. And again, this week with this person, they may disappoint you again. Um, maybe some of you are like, I don't care. I love this person enough. I'm good with that. Well, well, you'll get your new beginning when, when they come in. All right. So let's see how they feel about you. And then we'll look at new person potential. Maybe there's a breakthrough. All right. I do want to stay positive. Um, maybe there is a breakthrough. Maybe there's a breakthrough in their addiction. Maybe they're opening up and they're trying to get you to understand where they're coming from. Um, maybe uh, there's good news coming in. Maybe they are getting, they're learning, they're understanding, they're starting to understand their shadow side too. All right. So let's kind of take that and twist that a little bit. They could be, um, they could be starting to understand their part and in, in, in what they're doing. All right, let's see, jealous and possessive. So we do see a lot of jealousy and possessiveness, and that could stem from this whole disagreement or dishonesty or whatever's going on. But you are the love of my life. So uh, love conquers all, guys. I do see I'm not ready. So this person is still dealing with a lot, but they're just not ready to, to go the whole distance. All right, and friends or family disapprove of this connection. So it does seem like some of you already know this. All right, I feel it. All right, let's look at the um, let's look at the current. I mean, the new person. Uh, so be prepared with the new person potential. All right, you have two different energies coming through with a new person potential. Remember, if you're dating, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Pay attention to red flags. You could be connected to somebody that is very guarded and doesn't have very much to give, or they're dealing with a um, they're cheating, or they're dealing with a um, an addiction or they have um, they have some shadow shit that they're not willing to open up and deal with yet. All right. But you also have somebody here. You have um, somebody who's very available and ready to to get to know you and somebody who um, is is there. So we got six of swords coming in. We got somebody who may be traveling towards you. Um, this could be somebody that you're going out with this week. Uh, maybe you're getting to know. Maybe there's been a little bit of confusion between the two of you. Uh, sometimes five of swords can be miscommunication or no communication. But this could be uh, things are finally, you're finally understanding where things are going and things are moving forward. You're moving on. For some of you, this could be you moving on and you're moving towards um, a new potential. I try to see every potential possible. I know, guys, it can get confusing. Let's see this person. Ace of Cups. Look at this. Potential. All right. So we do see um, actual love here, new love coming your way um, and potential mutual attraction. This is always a doorway. Aces are always doorways. Whether or not you want to walk through them, that's up to you. All right. We are seeing a doorway to love open up. All right. We do see a Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody who's very secure in themselves, somebody who's very independent, somebody who's very grounded, and somebody who's ready just to enjoy things. Uh, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody who you know, made it or they're working on their independence.
independency, their finances, but they work on themselves. They're doing their thing. They're very independent. Um, and they're looking for the, the Ten of Pentacles, which is a commitment long term. So you do have potential here for a serious relationship. And you have the judgment card coming in. So the judgment is this is, you know, making a decision that's best for your future. It's a really big decision. Um, and for you, it could be a judgment between two people or moving on from something. And this could be your fresh start, a new beginning for you. I do have the eight of cups here and it's all about moving forward, moving on. Um, so I am getting a strong energy. I'm sorry, Taurus, this happens every now and then, but I'm getting a strong energy with the six of swords and the eight of cups. It's time to move on. It's time to move forward. It's time to see what else is out there. It's time to, you know, look available, be available, uh, stand your ground. To, you know, you've got love right here. The ace of cups says within a month, if anything, if some of you haven't even started talking to anybody else, all right? It's showing that this is here for you, but you've got to be 100% ready and ready to go forward um, with this person. All right. I see the eight of pentacles, too. So this is somebody who's on the same page, somebody who uh, works uh, really hard and who wants commitment as well, too. All right. So let's see Aries through Pisces, the potential with Aries through Pisces for you. Aries through Pisces. So this is probably be a mixed bag. I can feel it. Mixed messages. Right? Because I picked up two energies here this whole reading. Aries, you're taking a chance with Aries. Take a chance, gamble, go for it. Luck could be on your side with an Aries, all right? But it can go either way. It could be a karmic partner, too, with the Wheel of Fortune. Taurus wants to casually date, or maybe it's time for you to casually date and see what's out there. Plenty of fish in the sea, go see what's out there. But also, you could be connected to another Taurus who just wants to casually date, wants to get to know you, and uh, maybe they want to keep things open like that. They're not ready for anything serious. Um, we have Gemini, which could be a summer fling. It might be a nice romance for you with Gemini, but it might only be temporary. We have cancer, all right? They have an ice cold heart, but you melt it. Uh, you're starting to melt their heart. Again, that could go back to the guarded heart, but it looks like, you know, it's pretty cold in there, but you do warm them up. Leo, a lot of love here. This is like the ace of um, cups here. So you have a lot of potential here, mutual attraction with you and Leo. Uh, we have Virgo, could be fool's gold. Um, they could be superficial. You might be thinking they're the one, but there could be some red flags there. Libra secretly admires you, all right? So they got their eyes on you. They're studying you, um, seeing what you're up to. And we have Scorpio's hearts on lockdown. Either they're in a relationship or they're really on lockdown. And you've got you got to win this one. you got to find that key. All right, Sagittarius could be a phantom lover, fantasy. You may be expecting or wanting something with this person, and it's just they're not meeting your expectations. Capricorn is a little bit cold, but maybe they'll loosen up or warm up to you by the wintertime. Aquarius, secure love nest. So they're either looking for a secure love nest or they're already in a relationship, and this is where you got to make that decision. But if not, it looks like they want a secure love nest with you. Pisces is, a, is trying to reach out to you. Pisces wants to get to know you. It seems like you and Pisces could be really talking a lot this week. There's that eight of wands energy, right? So you guys could be really going back and forth, talking about and flirting and talking about your feelings this week. All right. Stars are aligning for some of you. Make that move. I love you guys. Take care.